everybody, today I'm going to show you how to convert a movie file into iPod, iPod Touch, or iPhone formats. Now most iPod products like to play movies in MP4 formats, so that's what we're going to switch a movie file to today. Now what I'm going to use here is this quick media converter, and you just go to Google and type in quick media converter, and I go to this download.cnet.com result and click on the link and I'll try to include a link to this in the description of the video as well. Just click download and install the software before you try to move on. Okay so now that the software is installed all you have to do is drag and drop a movie file into the pane here. Now this particular format is WMV but you can also do it in AVI format or FLV. It converts a lot of different movie formats. Now if you're trying to convert a video for your iPod, like a Nano, you would go to this iPod icon here and click either iPod screen format or one of these other 16x9 or 4x3 dimensions. Any of these should really work for iPod. Now if you want iPhone or iPod touch, you go over here to the iPhone category and click MP4 formats. And you can either do it in like this MPEG-4 640x480 or the MPEG-4 320 by 396 Those are the ones that I usually use. So we'll click one of these options. And you can see down here you need an output directory. I always put mine on the desktop and I move it after that if I need to, but it's just convenient if it's on the desktop. Check the video output format again, just to make sure that it's in the format you want and then click Start Conversion. Now ordinarily if you're doing like a two hour video the conversion could take almost two hours. Okay I just wanted to mention this one thing it's done converting but you can see in the preview pane here that it looks like it's gonna be a little squashed it's kinda normal for an iPhone or iPod if after you've uh, converted it I don't know of any way to change it from a full screen to a wide screen and have it still convert to an MP4 format, but usually when I watch it on my iPod Touch, it's not all that noticeable. It doesn't look as squashed as what it looks like here, especially if you change it so that the widescreen format is being played on the iPod. You're holding it sideways as opposed to up and down. So that's basically as easy as that is. Um, then you would go to your desktop and you would sync the mp4 video just like you would any other movie in iTunes. So that's how easy it is to convert a WMV or an AVI file for mp4 use for iTunes or iPod. Um, there's a lot of other formats like I said that it can convert like a, a QuickTime, um, DVD, there's a lot of them. So you can kind of play around and you can see if there's one format you like better than another for viewing purposes on your iPod. And you're going to be better off if you're viewing it on an iPod than an iPod Touch. But uh, usually you can watch it pretty well. So thanks for watching. That's all for today.